All right, visiting now with Richard Davenport, RD. Let's begin in recruiting with some guys that are expected to visit this upcoming weekend as we get set for National Signing Day, February 7th. This guy out of the state of Texas, he is Trevion Johnson. He is a wide out, and he runs the 40 in a 4 4 3. Yeah, he's, he's definitely got some serious speed, uh, type speed that you're looking for uh, in, in a, a receiver uh, in the SEC. He's currently committed to Oklahoma, uh, Oklahoma right now. Uh, coach Stepp, the receivers coach, really has developed a great relationship with him, and he, he just he just talks very highly of Coach Stepp and the relationship that they have. Uh, he, he understands that Coach Morris's offense is very uh, uh, receiver friendly, and that's something that's very attractive to him. He just wants to see what kind of atmosphere Arkansas has, and and I I, I wouldn't rule out anything. I mean, we, currently, obviously, he's not signed with Oklahoma, and and for him to have enough uh, interest to visit, uh, that shows serious. Uh, interest in Arkansas. Okay, we heard from John Chavis that they got to shore things up. They need to really build that defensive end for the future. This guy is a D-end. He has Courtney Alexander. He is out of the state of Oklahoma, 6'5", 260. Now, Arkansas, actually, I thought did a pretty good job recruiting the state of Oklahoma here recently. Your thoughts on Courtney, what he brings to the table, and perhaps what Arkansas is doing in the state of Oklahoma right now, recruiting overall. Well, he, he's really uh, he's he's a guy that could play inside or outside. Depends on uh, you know how much uh, growth he has over the next few years. But mm -hmm. at six five two sixty, he's very agile, very athletic. He, he, play, he even played tight end a little bit uh, uh, for for his high school team. He, he's a guy that uh, has really kind of blown up recently. Texas recently offered him, and obviously Arkansas is on him very hard. Uh, Coach Scott, Coach Caldwell, and Coach Smith visited him. Uh, the other other morning, and uh, then Coach Smith uh, visited him and did an in-home visit, and uh, he's definitely a priority. He, like I said, he could play inside or outside. It gives you that flexibility that you're looking for. Okay, we're talking about a potential Tech hog here, Raheem Boyd out of Houston, and he's a JUCO guy, so maybe an immediate impact from Raheem if Arkansas can land him. He's expected to visit this weekend as well, R.D. Yeah, he, he uh, was recruited by the uh, uh, former staff and, and obviously went to Texas A&M, had to go the JUCO rate, uh, route uh, this, this uh, season. And you got to give him a lot of credit. A lot of times they, these guys go to junior, junior college and you never hear from them again. That showed a lot of maturity on Rakeem's part and uh, definitely had a great season this past season and he's very excited about visiting Arkansas. I like Arkansas's chances with him. He's, he's got power, he's got speed, he's got everything you're looking for in a re running back. Let's go back to the D-line, Tyree Wilson, and again, he is a defensive end. Uh, what about him as far as being 6'5", 235? He's out of Texas as well. Is he uh, really that much on the Hogs' radar at this point? What can you tell me? Definitely. Uh, John Chavis uh, got on him very early and uh, believed in him, and uh, from what I understand, that really uh, is uh, uh, you know, got Tyree's attention through the whole recruiting process, and he really appreciated him uh, believing in him from the very beginning. He visited Texas A&M this weekend. Uh, as, as you said, he's supposed to visit Arkansas this upcoming weekend. I think if he gets on campus, I think there's a good chance he may pull the trigger. He has a tremendous amount of respect for Coach Chavis. Okay, Chad Morris mentioned the secondary as well. Got to put an emphasis on that. Got to get more guys in the secondary that can really compete in the SEC West. This guy is a corner. His name is Chris Steele, and he is out of the state of California. And he has an Arkansas offer as well. Yeah, and he's the number two cornerback in the country in the 2019 class. He, he was uh, got an offer from Arkansas earlier this week. He's very excited about it. He, he, uh, he'll probably visit Arkansas maybe in February or in the spring. He says he he definitely wants to make it out to Fayetteville. He's a he's a guy that could definitely help you in a lot of ways in the secondary. And he's 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 a guy that's a very sharp young man, a leader type uh, guy. Uh, definitely would be a good representative wherever he goes. And again, out of the class of 2019. R.D., thanks so much from Whole Hog Sports and the Arkansas Democrat Gazette. Women's Hoops, right after this.